G'day Avocado Enthusiasts, it's March of 2023, which means that it's time to enter our data for the International Avocado Experiment number two, which we started several months ago. You may recall that back in October of 2022, I posted a video inviting you to join me on this experiment to find out which was a more effective method of growing avocado trees, whether it was to grow them in water with toothpicks or in soil or another potting medium. And this is not the first time we've done an experiment like this. A couple of years ago, we tried to find out if it was better to peel the avocado seed or to leave it without peeling it. And we found quite conclusively that it was better to peel the avocado seed. It made it germinate faster. But I wanted to repeat this because I am not sure if growing it in water and toothpicks is the best method, especially when compared to just placing it straight in soil. So we're going to find out. Now we won't actually know the results for this until sometime in April when I have a chance to analyze everybody's data, all of the samples, and uh, draw some conclusions based on that, which I will be sharing in a detailed video in the future. But for today, I'm going to enter my data because I am ready to finish my sample from this experiment. So let's uh, have a look at what my avocado plants have been up to. Well, as you can see from this ledge, the avocado seed started in water and toothpicks has not done very much at all. In fact, I well, I think it died a long time ago. I have kept it in there, but it's not done very much. Whereas the avocado seed that was started in soil has done significantly better. You're seeing some discoloration on some of the leaves. Where it is in the room, it's next to a massive window and we had some very warm weather over summer. And so it's kind of cooked some of the leaves and it dried out much faster than I was expecting. So it did get a little dry, but uh, it's doing uh, really well. You can see the new growth at the top is is doing quite well. So I am ready to enter my data. I've come to the website scottgrowsandavocadotree.com and at the time of recording this, I think at some point I need to change that picture because it's very old. That tree actually is uh, is doing much better now. Um, it's, it's bigger, it's older, <laughs> that's okay. So I am going to scroll down and I'm going to find the button that says click here to participate in the international experiment Ab International Avocado Experiment number two. I'm going to click on that one. The International Avocado Experiment number two. So there's a video, you've already watched that video, I'm assuming, if you have not done so, please feel free to do so though. It is too late for you to start your trial runs now. I'm gonna click on this button that says, fill out your trials data here. So I am going to make sure that I am signed in. This is a requirement, I'm not, recording the information here. I'm not keeping it for any of my reasons. I will not send you emails unless you ask me to uh, when the results video is ready. That's an option. Um, but if I wanted to have uh, people submit their uh, media, so images or videos, I needed to uh, allow this. So I will select the country that I am located at because I wanted to check, you know, if uh, it makes a difference. So I'm going to select my country, which is Australia. And I'll go next. Now, the control group. I need to fill out some data about the avocado seed that uh, grew in water. So I placed it in water probably earlier than everyone else. I'd be surprised if you did it before me. And that was on the 30th of September. Now, the dates here, just careful because I've done it in the way that I do it in Australia. I know if you're in America, you do it month, month, day, day. Here, we do uh, day, day, month, month. Unless for some reason, Google has been clever enough to adjust it for whatever your local preference is, I'm not sure. But so I'm gonna go uh, the 30th of September, 2023. Editing Scott here. I realized um, afterwards that I put in a date that's in the future. So please make sure you put in the date that it actually started. If you started it last year, put 2022 instead of 2023. I can fix this later on, of course, uh, from the back end, but just letting you know that was a mistake. And I've edited, I've fixed it now at the back end of Google um, or the recorded end. I, I realize if you put a date in the future, I, I, I'll infer that you meant in the past, but I also do it in another minute or two in the video. So just bear with me. Um, I meant 2022 and I will um, <laughs> fix that uh, when I'm analyzing the data. I realize I don't have negative days that it took for the avocados to grow. Anyway, uh, on with the video. And uh, did your control seed grow a shoot of at least five centimeters during this experiment? The answer of course is no. We'll go to the next, so the next page, please fill in your data about your avocado seed in soil slash potting media. So 
Uh, this is the experiment group and it went in for me on the same date, but it's okay if you didn't start it on the same date. Not a big deal. That's why we're recording the dates here. Uh, also the 30th of September, 2023. Again, I meant 2022, please write the correct year. And I wanted to include, if you want to, you don't have to refill this in, what kind of potting media this was. So I am using uh, one part perlite, one part cocoa coir, coconut coir, and uh, one part vermicompost straight from my worm farms. Um, now, did your avocado seed grow to a shoot of at least five centimeters during this experiment? Very comfortably, yes. About what date did it reach it? So, I am going to estimate that it actually did it last year. So it's been growing very comfortably uh, ever since then. So I didn't get the exact date. I'm going to say sometime mid-December though. So I'm going to say the 15th of December, which is the 12th month in 2022. We'll go to the next page. And now if I have any videos to submit to me, I would put them here. I'm, I'm not going to bother with that because I'm editing the video myself. I do have videos, but I'm not going to submit them here. But if you do, I would really love to see them if they're photos, video time lapses, whatever you like. If you submit them here, you're also agreeing to put them, for me to use them in an upcoming video. Uh, but I would absolutely love to see what you have been up to. I'd really just use them in the avocado experiment video and perhaps videos that are referring the avocado experiment in the future. So if you've been taking things, I would love to see if you, if you even if you've just got a results picture or video, I would love to include it in this because I think it's really interesting to see what our experiments have been doing all over the world. So I don't have anything, but I am going to submit it. Now here I have the option to, uh, you know, if I think I made a mistake, I can go back and check things by editing my response. Or, because I know some of you have been very busy and may have run more than one experiment, you can submit another response there and that's absolutely fine. And uh, that, everybody, is how we fill in the information for the International Avocado Experiment. Number two, I know that it says to fill it out uh, after the 31st of March. If one of your seeds has died, if one of your seeds has definitely got to five centimeters first, it's probably okay to do so from today's date. Um, so I am really looking forward to reading all of these and I am looking forward to giving you the results in a video. I need to put a time limit on this. Please do this in the first week of April. So please do this by the 7th of April. Please have your data all submitted so that I can collate it and have a video ready for you to enjoy to see what we found out uh, late April is the time that I'm hoping to get it done. So please, please, please do it before the 7th of April. I know it says the 31st of March as a time to finish it. I just need to put a date. If you've already got data, please fill it in and please make sure that it is in there by the 7th of April. Thank you so much for participating in the second International Avocado Experiment. I am so looking forward to seeing what you have found with your individual trials and I am just, I can't wait to compare and collate this data to share with you. I love participating in the scientific method with you and I think that being able to include everyone over the world uh, in this massive kind of sample or a bigger sample than I can do by myself is a really interesting way of doing science. So thank you for participating and I can't wait to see what you've been up to. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've participated and for some reason aren't subscribed to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree, I would invite you to do so. You've you participated in an experiment with me. You, I assume you're interested in the things that I'm making here, but you know, I'm not mad either way. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Take care. Oh, I should also mention I have a second channel. If you're into the science stuff, um, I have another channel where I make uh, videos, sometimes about science, sometimes about history, just things that I find interesting. That is on That's Pretty Cool. Thank you once again. Take care and we'll see you next time. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.